What's up YouTube? Today we're viewing the 2022 Volvo S60 Recharge T8 R Design Expression. Huge thank you to Jamer Heasley over at Don Buyer Volvo Cars of Dulles, Virginia for allowing me to do this review for you guys today. If you're interested in this particular S60 or any Volvo product, I'll be sure to have Jamer's information on screen as well as in the description box down below. But with that said, let's get into the video. First, let's talk about the exterior and performance. And like I said, this is a 2022 Volvo S60 Recharge, and this particular one is painted in crystal white. If you guys do like that crystal white paint option, that paint will run you $695, uh, but I do think it is worth it because look at that metallic flake glistening in this beautiful February sunlight. It is a beautiful day out, it's about 60 degrees. Uh, but that is not what we are talking about here today. So let's start over here at our headlamps. We do have LED headlights as well as LED daytime running lights, as well as automatic high beams and active bending lights. As you guys can see, we have a pretty aggressive looking front end. I think it makes uh, this vehicle look super, super sporty. And that is because this is the Recharge T8 R Design Expression. So you do get the R Design front grille with the black grille surround around there. You also have your Volvo logo right at the center, as you guys can see. You also do have a lower black outer grille on the passenger side and a lower black outer grille on the driver's side. This lower grille down here is also in black and it just looks absolutely fantastic. It makes this car look very, very sporty. Uh, but one thing I wanted to show you guys up here while we're still at the front is that you do have these forward facing sensors that are very nicely integrated into the bottom of your front bumper. Um, but yeah, let's take a step back, take a look at just how sporty this S60 looks. I think that these black trim pieces really accent the crystal white paint very, very well. And it kind of gives this car kind of like a storm trooper type theme. Uh, I'm just a big fan of cars that are black on white. I think that they look very, very good. And they make these cars look very, very sporty. But as you guys can see, we do have 19 inch five spoke wheels. This is a $800 wheel option. Um, and you guys can see we have a machined aluminum face with some black accents. You kind of have those black pockets. Um, like I said, these wheels look very, very good. If you guys don't want these optional wheels, you do have a standard 18 inch wheel, which I'll put on screen right now. Uh, but I think these wheels really match the appearance uh, of this particular S60 very nicely. As you guys can see, this is where your charge port is. All you got to do is push on it uh, and it opens up. That is what your charge port looks like right there. Closing that. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, you do have a black window trim surround right here as well as black mirror caps with an integrated turn signal right there. You also do have your blind spot monitoring in the mirror uh, at the upper left hand corner on the driver side and the upper right hand corner on the passenger side. You do have your body color door handles right there with some illumination for you at night. So that's what that is right there. Those are lights shining down, kind of like puddle lights in a way. You guys have your panoramic moonroof up top here. You have a body color shark fin antenna right there. 19 inch wheels again. Take a look at the booty of the S60. It looks fantastic, as you guys can see. You do have your C-shaped tail lights, as you guys can tell. And it does have like a daytime running light right here that looks absolutely fantastic. And it is in that C-shaped. Looks really, really good. Uh, so LED tail lamps, as well as LED backup lights, LED turn signals, S60 badging right there. Got your Volvo badging that goes across the center of the rear lift gate well as your T8 all-wheel drive recharge badging right there. And you guys can see kind of your Polestar engineering badge right next to your T8 badge. Uh, but let's move back over here to the center. You guys can see you do have your rear view camera located right next to the button to open up your trunk. As you guys can see, you have all that trunk space back here. And this plastic floor mat back here is a part of the $545 protection package Premier, uh, which comes with this plastic rear luggage mat, uh, like I just mentioned. But we're gonna close this trunk right here real quick. As you guys can see, you do have a reflector on the driver's side, as well as a reflector on the passenger side of the rear bumper. You also have your rear view sensors uh, that I'm pointing out to you guys right now, nicely integrated into your rear bumper. 
Moving to the bottom of the rear bumper, you have a pretty sporty rear valance right here with the black trim uh, that really accents that white trim piece that goes across the bottom of that rear valance. You also do have that dual exhaust, as you guys can see, both on the driver side as well as on the passenger side. Uh, and that's pretty interesting because a lot of the new 2022 Volvos uh, did away with these exhaust pipes. Um, so if you guys do want an exhaust pipe on a Volvo, this might be the Volvo to get. Uh, but right here, this is your gas cap. So if I have to open up my gas cap, you do have to do it from the inside of the vehicle. Um, so opening this up, pushing this button right here, will pop open our gas cap. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what that looks like real quick. And uh, as you guys can see, you have a capless filler neck right in there. And uh, premium fuel is recommended. Um, but as you guys can kind of see right here, uh, you guys can see that metallic flake uh, really glistening in this sunlight. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, but yeah, let's do a little walk around of it. I apologize that you guys can see my shadow. Uh, let's do a little walk around before we move into performance. Like I said, just a really sporty looking sedan. Uh, and I'm a big fan of the way that this thing looks. But with that said, let's move into performance. Popping open that hood reveals that two liter twin charged four cylinder that makes 400 horsepower and 472 pound feet of torque. 87 of those horsepower come from the help of that 11.6 kilowatt hour high voltage battery. Uh, this motor is mated to an eight speed automatic transmission for a zero to 60 time of 4.3 seconds. And if you guys are wondering about fuel economy, you get 69 MPGE or 30 miles per gallon combined with that gas motor. But let's close this hood. And if you guys are enjoying today's video so far, please give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. I'm really gunning for 10,000 subscribers and I cannot do that without your guys' help. So if you guys have enjoyed the video so far or learned something from the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button and leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what your favorite feature has been so far of the X60. Have you owned an S60 or are you considering purchasing an S60? Like I said, leave a comment in the comment section down below. But with that said, let's move into the interior. Moving into the interior, you do have keyless access. So all you gotta do is have your key fob in your pocket, walk up to the vehicle, put your hand behind here and the vehicle will unlock. You can tell that the vehicle is locked because the mirror caps are in, or you can tell it's unlocked when the mirror caps come out. If you guys wanna lock the vehicle, you do see like this little square on your door handle, run your finger across that and it will lock the vehicle. Um, another way you can get into the vehicle obviously is by pushing the unlock button on the key fob and it will unlock the interior But like I said, this does have keyless access um, So all you gotta do is have your key fob on you and uh, walk up to the door and put your hand behind the door handle And it will unlock and looking at the door panel as you guys can see you do have a black leather wrapped door panel up top As well as some of those blonde leather pieces uh, at the bottom of the door panel some blonde leather right here on your armrest your armrest is very, very nicely padded, uh, and it's just very soft, premium feeling leather. Right here, you do have your power child locks. By pushing that button, you guys can hear those child locks lock. As well as if you push that button again, they unlock. You do have automatic up and down windows at all four corners of this vehicle. You have your mirror adjustments right here. You do have two memory seat adjustment settings, as you guys can see by these two buttons. And just under those buttons, you do have your unlock and lock button. You do have a aluminum door handle right there, which feels very, very premium. You do have your speaker right next to your memory seat adjustment settings and another speaker at the bottom of the door. You have a decent amount of storage space at the bottom of the door panel. You guys can probably fit a water bottle or two down here, uh, but for the size of the vehicle, it's actually a pretty decent amount of storage space. As you guys can see, you have a recharge door sill right here in that brushed aluminum looks very, very premium. Uh, and moving down to here, you guys see your two pedals. You do have a power driver seat as well as a power passenger seat. And these seats are very, very comfortable. Uh, and like I mentioned, the interior color is called blonde. Uh, but yeah, these seats are very, very comfortable to sit in. Um, so yeah, let's sit in them right now. 
Oh, five foot nine, 150 pounds. And these seats still have a good amount of room on the right and left side of my body. Um, so a thicker person could definitely fit in these seats, but I'm very, very comfortable. Um, for somebody of my size, I think you'd be very, very comfortable as well. Uh, but let's start this car up. Like I said, you do have to have your key fob somewhere in the interior in order to start this vehicle up. Put your foot on the brake and twist this little knob right here to the right and the vehicle will fire up. You might be able to notice that you don't really hear any noise uh, and that is because this is a hybrid. Um, so yeah, the gas motor has not fired up. Uh, but let's look at our steering wheel right here. You guys have a black leather wrapped steering wheel on the outer and then on the interior, it's more of that blonde leather. So it's like that black on blonde looks absolutely fantastic. I love two-tone leather. Uh, and it looks, like I said, just very, very premium. And this whole interior here is very, very premium. Uh, it's just simple yet very, very elegant. Um, so big fan uh, of the interior on this S60. Uh, but let's start over here. Here are your HVAC vents on your driver's side. Um, if you guys want this closed, you guys can twist this like this. Uh, and you guys can also adjust up, down, left, right uh, very, very easily. Aluminum trim right here with some of that grain wood trim that also just looks very, very good. You have a black leather wrapped type dash. It's not leather, but it's a leather type material uh, and it just looks very, very good. Some of more of that wood trim. Uh, you got some of that aluminum trim right under there uh, and some of that blonde type leather material. It's not leather, um, but it looks like leather. Um, it just looks very, very good. This is leather, however, and it just feels very, very soft. It's a very soft feeling leather. Uh, and like I said, it's very, very premium. But talking about our gauge cluster up top here, you have a 12.3 inch digital driver display. You have an analog speedometer on the left hand side of the screen with a digital speedometer readout right in the center of the analog speedometer. You also do have your speed limit sign that's right under your digital speedometer right there. You got your odometer down there as well as your trip information stuff right down here. That is for your cruise control stuff right there. You guys have your navigation right at the center. Ambient exterior temperature, it's letting us know that our headlights are on uh, and it also is letting us know that that we have our emergency brake on, that is what time it is. Uh, and right here, this kind of lets you know either if you're using your electric motor uh, or if you're using the gas motor, you guys can kind of see that teardrop type thing. When that teardrop is filled in, that means you are using your gas powered motor. And I'll show you guys when we move into uh, the driving portion of the review, what I'm talking about right there. But right down here, you got your fuel gauge as well as your battery gauge, uh, which is right next to it. And right here, this is what our fuel range is. And right here, it is letting us know what our current fuel economy is uh, on this current trip. And moving back over to the steering wheel on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, you guys can adjust your adaptive cruise control settings right here. This is your cruise control stuff um, and right over here you can kind of go through your screen right here if you so desire this is to speak to the vehicle and these buttons either control what's going on in the screen by pushing this button that's how you kind of control that screen otherwise this is volume up volume down um, and you can skip in between your different songs as you guys can hear that two liter four cylinder just fired up but moving over to our center infotainment screen you guys have an HVAC vent on the left hand side of the screen as well as on the right hand side of that screen um, and this is a nine inch census infotainment screen with wired Apple CarPlay as well as wired Android Auto you also have Wi-Fi hotspot um, and you get a panoramic sunroof right here. So if I want to bring that shade back, um, I can pull back double tap and the uh, shade will slide all the way back. Sunroof tilted open as you guys can see. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what your sunroof looks like. It's not the biggest sunroof, but it is a big sunroof considering the size of this vehicle. You do have a grab handle on the driver's side as well as a grab handle on the passenger side. Um, and your two rear passengers also get grab handles. Opening this up, got your vanity mirror with a light as well as a vanity mirror with a light on this side as well. Closing that, that is your mic for your Bluetooth audio. So when you speak to uh, somebody on the phone, that's where it's picking up your voice. This will turn on my driver side light. This will turn on the passenger side light, and this will turn on all the lights in the vehicle. Uh, but closing that, this is when you open up the doors, the lights will not turn on. However, if I push this button again, the lights will come on uh, when the door is open. 
so we want to keep that on this is for your sunroof as well as your sunroof shade like i mentioned um, get your sos button right there and your on call button this lets you know if your passenger airbag is on or off auto dimming rear view mirror right here universal garage door opener at the bottom of your mirror uh, but yeah, like I said, you have, do have your nine inch census infotainment system. Um, and you do have to spend a little bit of time uh, kind of getting used to the screen if you do want to be good at using the screen. So if you do want to be able to use this very easily, you do have to spend a little bit of time with it uh, because there are some ins and outs of it um, that take a little bit of getting used to. But once you get used to it, it's like second nature, just like anything, um, takes a little bit of time to get used to. You do have heated front seats, but you do not have heated rear seats because this does not have um, the climate package. You also do not get a heated steering wheel. So if you guys uh, do want your heated steering wheel, you guys want your heated seats, uh, and you do want like headlight washers and a couple other things, you're probably gonna wanna get that climate package. And if you live in a colder environment, um, you probably might wanna get the climate package if you guys do want a heated steering wheel. Um, but moving back over to our census infotainment screen, one thing that's really nice about it is that if you do go into something like this, uh, you can just press this home button. It'll bring you right back um, into your home screen. Uh, but scrolling from the top here, you guys can go into your settings. You do have an owner's manual that's basically integrated into the screen. Go into my car, you can go into your individual drive mode and kind of set uh, what your drive mode wants to be. If you guys want it to be in hybrid, uh, pure, hybrid or Polestar, you can do that. Driver display, pure hybrid or Polestar. Um, and if you guys want your steering force, right now it is in medium and I kind of like it that way, but I'm gonna turn our individual driving mode off. Go back and these are where you can find all your different settings uh, of what you want the vehicle to kind of act like, whether it be for the car, the sound system, uh, the navigation, media, communicate. These are where all you can find all your different settings. Um, but going back, uh, all you gotta do is push that home button. It brings you back to your home screen. Scroll down from here. These are where you'll find your notifications. That's where your owner's manual is. You can go through your profile right there. As you guys can see, we are getting 20.4 miles per gallon as of right now. This thing doesn't have very many miles on it. Um, so I do expect that average fuel economy to go up uh, as you drive this car. Uh, but you guys can go and see you know, all these different screens, basically letting you know what the vehicle is doing. Um, but yeah, like I said, this only does have two heated front seats. Both front seats are power. Um, so yeah, moving down to here, you got your hazard light. This is your forward defroster right here, rear defroster right here to go back on a song, to go forward on a song, to turn the volume up or down. That's what that does. And push this button right here and that is to play or pause. I'm gonna move my backpack up. And on other Volvos, when you push this button, that is when the uh, glove box will open up. However, you do have a manual opening glove box uh, and you have a good amount of storage space down in there for your owner's manual, uh, napkins, straws, whatever you wanna put down in there uh, will fit. Another HVAC vent over there and that door panel looks exactly like the door panel on the driver's side. But there are a couple things that I did wanna mention while we are on the interior. And that is that this does have the $1,800 premium package, which comes with power child locks on your rear doors as well as navigation home link garage door transmitter which i showed you guys uh power folding head restraints as well as folding split backrest with load through hatch as well as front park assist so that's what your 1800 premium package gets you this also does have the 545 dollars protection package premier which comes with that plastic rear luggage mat as well as rubber floor mats a polishing cloth for your infotainment screen you also get a license plate frame that says volvo and you get wheel locks. Another package that this vehicle does have is the $1,295 Polestar Performance Package, which basically optimizes mid-range engine performance as well as gear shifts and throttle response. Um, so if you guys are wanting to drive this thing a little bit sportier um, than the average person would be buying one of these S60s, then you're gonna wanna get that Polestar Performance Package. But there are a few key safety features that I'll list here on screen right now uh, that I'm gonna read out to you guys. Uh, this is not all of them, but this is uh, the majority of them. And that is that this does have blind spot monitoring with steer assist as well as cross traffic alert with auto brake. You also do have low and high speed collision mitigation driver alert control, run off road protection and run off road mitigation, lane departure warning, lane keeping aid, oncoming mitigation by braking and whiplash protection. Um, so yeah, this is a Volvo and Volvo is basically one of the manufacturers that 
really puts a lot of emphasis on safety. Um, so if you guys are wanting a very, very safe vehicle, you're going to want to look into Volvo. Uh, but yeah, one thing I wanted to show you guys before we move into the rear is what the horn sounds like, as well as what the turn signal sounds like. But a couple more things that I wanted to show you guys before we moved into those rear seats. That is that you do have a gear shifter right here. If you guys want to go into reverse, put your foot on the brake, push forward, and then you go into reverse. You do have to push forward twice, and that will put you into reverse. Pull back once. Now we are in neutral. Pull back again. We are in drive and pull back all the way, and it brings you into B, which is basically battery, and push to go into park. So push that button right there, and now we are in park. Two cup holders right here. This is your engine stop start. Um, so twist to the right. Now the engine is off. Put your foot on the brake, twist it to the right, and the engine turns back on. Obviously, the engine did not turn back on. However, the battery is on, and the engine will turn on when it is needed. This is your electronic parking brake right here, and this is for auto hold. So if you are in traffic and you don't want to keep holding your foot on the brake, you push that button, put your foot down on the brake pedal, and it will hold you in position. Um, and then if you guys want to get going again, just put your foot on the gas, and it'll let you go again. Come back to a stop because the traffic is stopped again. Put your foot on the brake again and push a little bit farther than you normally would and it will hold you in place. Um, but popping this open, this is where you will find your 12 volt power outlet as well as two USB-A ports right here in a little spot to set your phone. I do have an iPhone 11 Pro Max and it just barely fits in here with a case. Um, so you kind of have to force it in, but it still it will close with that down in there. Uh, but if you guys do have like a 13 Pro Max or something like that, you might have a hard time um, fitting your phone down in there. And then you got another spot down in here. If you do want to set your key in there, which I'll show you guys, um, you can set your key down in there if you guys want to, just like that. Uh, and you can leave it in there while you drive. Uh, and you can also close that while it's in there. But I still want the key on me just in case. So I'm going to put it back in uh, and look at that leather wrap center console very very nice feeling but again one more thing before we move into those rear seats is this is how you pop open your trunk this is how you pop open your rear fuel door this adjusts the brightness of our screen right here if you want to turn on your headlights you do have them in automatic these are headlights always on these are your daytime running lights on these are headlights off and if i twist it all the way up that is your automatic high beams but twist that again automatic high beams are off uh, but yeah, let's move into those rear seats. Hop in into our rear seats. Let's take a look at our door panel. As you guys can see, same type door panel uh, that we would find at the front. You get that faux leather type material right up here, as well as that faux leather type material at the bottom of our door panel. But you do have this real leather right here uh, on our armrest, as well as in here. Um, and you do have automatic up and down windows, as you guys can see. Flick it up, window goes up automatically. Uh, but yeah, aluminum door handle, lock button, and right next to our lock button, we find our speaker. You get another speaker at the bottom of our door panel, and you get a nice little spot to set your phone down in here. Uh, but you're not really going to fit much more than your phone or some hand sanitizer um, down in here. A uh, nice little spot to grab to close the door. But yeah, let's move into these rear seats. You guys can see more of that blonde leather. These seats look absolutely fantastic. Typical Volvo stitching, typical Volvo pattern uh, on these seats. But let's step in. I feel like I'm sitting pretty low down in here, but it feels super sporty when I sit in here. Uh, I've got actually a really good amount of headroom here, uh, and I'm five foot nine, like I mentioned. Got plenty of leg room, plenty of knee room. I'm adjusted behind myself. Um, you got a seat back pocket right here, seat back pocket on this side, on the passenger side as well. Uh, but it is a mesh type material, so stuff can fall through. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, right here, you do have some connectivity to USB-C ports, which is pretty interesting because uh, in the center console, you will find that you do have two USB-A ports, which is kind of interesting. I'm surprised they didn't kind of keep the same theme, either that be two USB-C ports in the center console or continue on with the two USB-A ports uh, back here for the rear passengers. But you do have this uh, hump right here. I believe that's for your drive shaft uh, to go through. Um, so your middle passenger isn't going to be the most comfortable when there are five people in the vehicle. They're going to have to put one foot on the driver's side and one foot 
um, on the passenger side over here. Uh, so it's just something to keep in mind if you do um, haul around five people pretty often. Uh, but you do have a center fold down armrest right here with two cup holders uh, and a spot for a smaller cup holder here in the center or you can put your phone down in there. Uh, but you could definitely fit a pretty big cup holder both on the uh, driver side as well as on the passenger side cup holders. And in the middle you can fit a smaller cup. But yeah. This is where you would send stuff through like skis or something like that. Um, so you can fit your skis through here, no problem. And that's where uh, that through hatch that I was talking about earlier, uh, that's where that is located. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about comfortability here real quick. Fold that armrest back down um, and let's kind of get comfortable here. I could definitely see myself doing a long road trip because there is more leg room in knee room than I was expecting, to be honest, because this looks like a pretty small sedan. But yeah, I've got, like I said, five foot nine and I've got a pretty good amount of leg room. Uh, definitely nothing to complain about. But up here, like I mentioned earlier, we do have a grab handle, another grab handle, um, LED light right here. By pushing that button, LED light over there, by pushing that black button. A spot to hold your suit right here, another spot to hold your suit uh, over there, and this is where it will pick you up uh, if you are talking to somebody on the Bluetooth. Uh, but yeah, like I said, these seats are very, very comfortable. Um, definitely could see myself doing a probably six hour road trip back here, no problem. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of what it looks like here from the rear point of view. Uh, but yeah, like I said, guys, we've talked about the exterior, we've talked about the performance, and now we've talked about the entire interior. So I want to see what this thing's like to drive. So I will see you guys in the driver's seat. All right, guys, and now on to the driving portion of the review. And like I said, um, when we were talking about our digital gauge cluster, as you guys can see, that little teardrop right there is not filled in meaning that our gas powered motor is not on so let's merge onto this road right here you guys can see that the teardrop is filled in now letting us know that our gas powered motor is on and uh, it is powering us right now um, when you guys come to a stop or you're very light on the acceleration you guys can kind of see that that uh, is kind of coming up in the um, our teardrop is no longer filled in that means that we are purely on battery power right now if i give it a little more juice you guys can see it filled in again uh, letting us know that we are using gas um, so if you guys just want purely electric range uh, on this s60 t8 recharge uh, you're looking at about 22 miles of purely electric range uh, when you are fully charged um, so, you know, that's not terrible considering that this is a hybrid, um, but in the coming years as battery technology gets better and better, uh, I'm sure we will see that range go up tremendously. Uh, but one thing I did want to mention is just how silky smooth that this drivetrain is. I mean, uh, upon acceleration, doesn't matter if you're accelerating heavy um, or if you're accelerating light. Um, all the acceleration is silky silky smooth um, and when we get up and going here you guys will see that the battery kind of gets us going uh, and then the gas powered motor comes on and that transition is like i said just silky silky smooth and like i said we are on battery power now and boom now we are on electric and you can't even feel the uh, gas powered motor fire up and take over i mean it's just a silky silky smooth transition um, and that's like sometimes like when you'll find in like a Ford because they're just kind of getting into um, the hybrid realm of vehicles. Um, it's kind of a little clunky um, on like a power boost or something like that. Whereas this is just silky, silky smooth. These seats are just very, very comfortable. Um, so yeah, very, very comfortable seats, very, very comfortable drive. Um, and upon acceleration and going around turns and stuff like that, um, it's just very, very smooth. It's very, very planted. Um, so I'm a big fan of the way that this thing drives. Like I said, very, very smooth while it's driving. The suspension is very, very smooth. Just this whole vehicle as a whole, whether it be the powertrain, um, the ride, uh, everything is just very, very smooth. Um, and it feels like it, a lot of thought went into um, designing this car, designing the powertrain, designing the seats. I mean, because everything is just very very comfortable very very smooth very very easy to drive um and when you like i said when you go around turns and stuff like that i mean yeah i haven't really pushed it that hard 
uh, but it just handles very, very well. Uh, and it just feels very planted. It feels like there's very minimal body roll, if any. Uh, braking feel is fantastic as well. Um, like we're coming up to um, this stop right here. And as soon as you put your foot into the brake, it starts braking. Um, and it's not like a jolty brake by any means, just very, very linear feeling brake feel. Um, so I'm a big fan just of the way that this thing drives, the way that this thing feels to drive. Um, it feels like a very small, compact sedan. It almost feels honestly like you're driving um, a two door. A bigger two-door but it feels very very small and compact when you drive it um, but we're gonna do a little acceleration test here um, in a minute um, but yeah whether it be a light acceleration or a heavy acceleration everything is just very very smooth um, and it's got plenty of power I mean this thing feels very very fast um, and you guys can hear our turn signal we'll do a little higher speed turn here very very planted um, very minimal body roll. There's a little bit of body roll, uh, but it's very, very minimal. And just going over bumps, man, I'm telling you, this is such a smooth riding suspension. Um, just feels very, very smooth. Um, but we're going to come up here. And we're going to do a quick 0 to 60 test uh, because I know some of you guys are interested. You know, is this thing actually a quick vehicle? Uh, and we're going to come up to a stop here and uh, we'll kind of determine whether it's a quick vehicle or not. Coming up to a stop. Three, two, one, floor. Yes, it is definitely a very quick vehicle. Um, very quick. Uh, taking a left here. Very, very torquey. Like I said, just very smooth acceleration. Um, feels very very quick and what's awesome about it is that this is all-wheel drive but there's no torque steer which is awesome I do not like torque steer uh, but when you accelerate very very quick acceleration guys um, close that sunroof so you guys can hear me a little bit better uh, very very quick acceleration the way that this thing drives is fantastic uh, it's very well insulated from what's going on around us right now um, it's a very windy day so you might be able to hear a little bit of the wind gust uh, but it's very very minimal um, like I said it's very well insulated from the outside world very comfortable driving position I feel like I'm driving a sporty sedan uh, which is awesome coming over here uh, we do have a green light which is fantastic um, so my final thoughts about this s60 is that it's got the sporty looks it's got the very comfortable feel to it um, so you could definitely do a long road trip in this car without it feeling um, like annoying uh, you got plenty of leg room in the back plenty of leg room in the front and like I said these seats are very very comfortable these are probably the most comfortable Volvo seats that I've sat in personally um, the ride is fantastic steering is fantastic yes it's not like the most uh, feel through the steering wheel it's pretty numb um, but it's just a great it would make for a great daily driver you get the great fuel economy uh, and it just looks and feels like it can cut through the wind um, and apparently the top speed of this s60 is 155 miles per hour um, so final thoughts is that it's a very smooth ride uh, very comfortable seating you got all the safety features that you want uh, it's a great looking vehicle so yeah very very good for a daily driver um, and you know it's also a good looking sedan uh, but if you guys enjoyed today's video so far please give this video a big thumbs up please hit that subscribe button like i said i'm really gunning for 10,000 subscribers and i cannot do that without your guys' help so if you guys would help me make my dream come true please hit that subscribe button please give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section down below uh, but yeah with that said i'll see you guys in the next review Peace.